Hi there and welcome to another free Google Ads tutorial with your host Barry Smith. In today's video I'm going to show you how to get your RSA Ad Strength score to excellent every time. The Ad Strength score is feedback from the Google Ads system on how relevant your ad is to the keywords in that ad group. That doesn't necessarily mean you need an excellent score, but to quote Google, the advertisers who improve their ad strength for responsive search ads from poor to excellent can see approximately 12% more clicks and conversions on average. So how do you get your ad strength score to excellence? Google has guidance in the top right corner here, which I'm going to go through one by one. Firstly, it's the number of headlines. Google is already happy with the number of headlines in this example, and from experience, the fewest headlines I've used for an excellent score has been eight. Including popular keywords in your headlines, which is an issue we're going to resolve shortly in the example. By keeping the keywords in your ad groups tightly aligned, there's no reason why this won't come naturally. The uniqueness of those headlines. So Google doesn't like you just stuffing your keywords in as all the headlines. It's recommended that you include some benefits, some USPs and a call to action or two to increase the variety of headlines. Once you start getting data, you'll notice that Google chooses the headlines with your keywords in most of the time anyway. And the final one is the uniqueness of your descriptions. You'll need to include your keywords in one or two of them to be able to get an excellent score. And I recommend that you have a call to action in at least one of them. If we scroll down for the ad in front of us, you'll see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten headlines. Uh, you'll see the keywords haven't been used in all ten of them. Um, if we just quickly scroll down and we'll see the uniqueness of the descriptions, we've got the full tick in the top right corner for this one. You can see we've got keywords in there, we've got call to actions in there. So it's a pretty good uh, description already. Uh, if we scroll all the way back up, Google is already highlighting three keywords that we've not actually got in our headlines. So if we have a look for them, it's probably going to be the near me keyword. And then what we've got home tuition, tuition. So it's probably home and near me we haven't got in there. So if we just start including uh, those keywords in there, so maybe private GCSE tutors near you. Now near you is a good way to go around near me. I've actually seen ads in Google before, Google's results before that actually have near me and it doesn't really make any sense. Of course, that could be dynamic keyword insertion, um, but I recommend using near you to get around the near me keywords because it just makes more sense. Um, and then home was the other one we wanted. So let's try that. Where are we at? Good. Um, and let's get a few more USPs and call to actions in there. So I know they're from £60 per hour. Let's get a contact us today. Uh, and maybe a find. Oh, we're already on excellent. So I'll just have to find out more anyway. Um, and there you go. So now we've got uh, at least eight headlines. They're unique uh, in Google's eyes. Uh, we've got unique descriptions. Uh, and we've got the popular keywords in there. One final point is, uh, if you pin any of your headlines, you'll automatically see your ad strength drop to good or average, um, like the example here. Google doesn't like us pinning our headlines or descriptions anymore. So if you want an excellent score, then you're going to have to unpin everything. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. But the question is, do you really need excellent ad strength scores? The ad strength of your RSA ads doesn't count towards your ad rank. So as long as the ad relevance of your keywords is above average, I'd say you can be content with average or good ratings for now. And that's all for today's video. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned for some more free tutorials in the near future.